My name is Mansoor Khurshid and I'm working as Head of Structural Science in Bromo. At Bromo, we aim to build safe, lighter and environmental friendly spreaders. Our mission is to provide solutions to our customers to help them keep the cargo moving. The expectations in our industry are quite high. For example, the container weights are increasing with time. Our products have to live up to those expectations and perform in harsh environments. At the same time, science has been progressing at a faster rate in the last five to six decades. With the help of high computational power computers, we are now able to use techniques like finite element analysis on a daily basis. These have made us possible to look to our structures in a way we were not used to do in the past. We can look at areas, optimize them, which were not able with the traditional hand calculations. Now, if we look into the design of spreaders, the structural integrity of a spreader is affected by a complex interaction between loading, design, manufacturing processes and the material used in building them. So all these factors influence our daily job and how we design our spreaders to be lighter, stronger and environmental friendly. When it comes to the loading part of this interaction, we are working closely together with our customers to understand what type of container weights they are experiencing at the ports. As for the design, manufacturing and material part of this complex interaction, we are doing a lot of in-house component level testing. We are also doing field testing on our spreaders. Uh, this allows us to validate our design and strength assessment methodologies, such as fatigue strength and those used for ensuring static strength. In order to stay at the forefront of scientific development, we are closely cooperating with research institutes and universities around the world. One of them to mention is Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, Sweden, where we are already involved in research activities within well mechanics since 2017. Researchers and students are working on projects together with Broma and solving uh, different issues and implementing various techniques in our processes. Uh, my name is Joel. I am a master thesis student doing my thesis work for Bromma. Uh, in the work we are looking at a specimen which corresponds to a component of Bromma spreaders. Uh, so here in the lab we are doing some experiments where we are applying strain gauges to these specimens and doing some strain measurements as well as fatigue tests. My name is Jing Chao Zhu. I'm a PhD student at KTH. Since 2017, I have been working with Broma on a research project. My main focus is on welding simulation and the fatigue assessment methods. So on the screen you can see here, I implement welding simulation on Broma beam structure to predict uh, welding deformation and uh, to optimize the production process. Also, I have been working with fatigue life prediction method and to estimate fatigue life of Bloma structures in order to improve the accuracy and the reliability. In our industry, we have to follow rules and regulations outlined in various standards. Bloma has recently started getting involved in the standardization process in order to help develop the standards for the future. We at Broma understand that climate change is for real. We aim to help our customer minimize emissions by providing electric and lightweight spreaders. Material is another important item in our spreaders where the main structure is using quite uh, a lot of steel. The processes through which those materials are produced are quite important in order to reduce carbon dioxide emissions. Recently, we have gotten involved into a project led by Cargotech together with Swedish steel manufacturer, SSAB, where we are evaluating if we can use 
fossil free steel instead of conventional steel in the future. All these activities and initiatives help us meet the demands of our customers.